So we're putting under review today what some of Africa's top CEOs have on their agendas, uh, looking at the Africa business agenda, so to speak. Before we go there, though, uh, that agenda would very much be influenced by the kind of sense uh, they're getting of the business operating environment at this stage. What's sentiment like on the ground? Right, thank you. Uh, the report was actually quite conclusive in uh, uh, what it's telling us. Uh, first of all, fact is that business confidence among Africa's CEOs is extremely high, uh, and that is in absolute terms, as well as when you compare it with the confidence that has been expressed by CEOs uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, just to illustrate this with a, with a statistic, uh, whereas the CEOs, the 200 odd CEOs we surveyed, said that their confidence in business over the immediate to medium term is at around 94%. I mean, 94% uh, of respondents said they are very confident in the, the business environment. Uh, only 88% of their global counterparts were able to say so uh, when looking at the next 12 months. I uh, ask the same question yeah. for the uh, three years on. Uh, Africa still stays at a degree of confidence uh, to the tune of 95% of the CEOs saying they are confident, uh, although the global average also goes up. Uh, well, one would assume, Philip, that uh, you know that optimism means that they're investing in Africa as well. Then, so what kind of correlation are we seeing when it comes to uh, you know correlation between optimism and those confidence levels to investment? Uh, indeed, when we did ask them uh, about what was top on their uh, agendas as, as CEOs, uh, investing uh, came through as one of the top priority items, uh, and they are uh, basically saying they see Africa as having the greatest uh, opportunities for investment. Uh, as they think investment, most of them are looking at penetrating their current markets better, uh, increasing their market footprint, looking at new products, new services, mm -hmm. uh, looking at mergers and acquisitions within their uh, local markets. And, and where businesses have uh, extended opportunities into cross-border, uh, there's a number of them also looking at uh, growing uh, uh, into into those cross border. Th they'd have to address uh, key risk concerns in tandem as well. So, what ranks as priority in that regard? Right. Uh, the, the report has, uh, if you like, uh, brought out, uh, in addition to the variety of other items that came from the global C uh, CEO survey, there's three key uh, priority items that CEOs are telling us. Uh, one is investment, as I, as I said. Uh, second is actually environmental business environmental risks uh, or risk management uh, and third is managing a talent pool uh, that is uh, seen as being critical to their realizing the potential of the businesses that they see mm -hmm. uh, also there seems to be somewhat of a focus on uh, growing that uh, or improving that business environment through partnerships with government uh, and you know it's these PPPs that seem to be stealing a lot of the spotlight over the recent past to what extent though Right, I mean, uh, around government and government and business, uh, the context for working with government comes by way of uh, where we ask them what they see as the common priorities between the private sector and the public sector, what government should be doing better, what, what business can do to contribute. Uh, and four issues did emerge here. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, essentially the poor infrastructure and the associated costs that business is having to bear. Uh, and, and so they're saying uh, government can surely do a better job of this and if, uh, you know, if opportunities are created, they as businesses, uh, be it that they're in the relevant But government uh, does have a role to play.